twin is like an, another person. Harry does something different a day and so do I. When I first had the boys, um, it was uh, that everyone seemed to think they had a God-given right to come up and poke inside a double buggy, uh, ask questions, and it was very, very difficult to get used to. Most parents reach a point with their twins where they ask the question, should I be treating them the same or differently? Well, twins need to be valued for who they are and their individual strengths and talent should be celebrated. They're very, very competitive. I don't know if it's the fact that they're twins or they're brothers, uh, but they, they constantly strive um, to be as good as the other one. We don't discourage competitiveness, but it's all in the playing, it's not in the winning. Competition can be quite a feature of the twin relationship and it can become quite intense and, and destructive at times, in which case a bit of time apart can help spend time with the twins individually and not just yourselves but the rest of the family and friends as well get involved in this. Last year we took them over and one of them spent one night at Nana's and one at Grandad's which they love really truly love their own time but the next morning they're very ready to go and share the, the time they've had and what they've done. When one of them has done something that they're proud of celebrate that and don't be too uncertain of, of yourself because you're afraid you might upset the other twin because their turn will come another day and they should be encouraged to celebrate each other's successes. Twins need to, to learn how to face situations on their own so separation is really important as a part of their development. Find out whether the school has a policy for twins. The very best policy is no policy at all in the sense that every family should be treated as a unique situation. For some twins it's really helpful to be kept together because the presence of the twin is a reassuring thing during the school day. Research today would suggest that actually in most cases keeping them together is the right thing to do but every situation is unique and parents should trust their instincts. They started off at the same nursery. Um, as they got to three, maybe four, they were um, becoming a bit more of a unit and talking as a we instead of an I. So we made the decision along with the nursery to split them up. Well, one common thing that can happen with twins is that their language development is delayed, partly because they don't need to make the effort to make themselves understood because their twin naturally understands them. And it's very important for those children to mix with other children, both in school and out of school, so that they develop proper language patterns. We chose the school they're in now because it has two reception classes. Um, they have their own friends, but they can play together at playtime and, and share experiences at the end of the day. If you choose to separate twins, it's important to prepare them for that um, with separations at home so that they get used to being on their own. Separating twins in school can help them develop individual friendships and those sort of skills are going to be really useful in helping them make confident relationships in later life.